Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. I'm back again with another Thursday Real Life Stock Review. I hope you guys are ready because there is some gold in this review. Check it out. SPY Glorious Bounce. Now we've spoke about this bounce for a while now. Um, this glorious gap and go that we had just a few days ago. Uh, now, now I just want to, people are asking, where is this going to go? I'm just going to draw a quick Fibonacci here. And as you can see, we've got the 618 resistance here at 286.52. So most likely we're going to start to feel a little bit of pressure as we came up into this resistance level right here. And most likely we're going to come back down and, uh, maybe chop around sideways for a little bit before we slowly move higher. That's the SPY looking absolutely glorious. Here's the Qs, not doing, not as bullish as the SPY. Uh, we are at the 382 resistance on the Fibonacci levels right now. Personally, I think we'll come up a little bit higher, maybe to about 180. Um, and then from there, we'll most likely just try and stay above the 100 and slowly grind higher. Is the Dow Jones ticker symbol DIA? Uh, Fibonacci basically doing the same thing as the SPY. We're almost, almost at the 618. So from here, guys, look to lock in some profits, some short term profits if they're at resistance levels. Um, so with the Dow Jones, definitely look for a little bit of choppiness over the next couple of months um, moving forward before we start to grind higher. I want to give a shout out to Brad Reed. He is our day trading host. Absolutely crushed it in the morning room this morning. Uh, now guys, I'm not going to guarantee that if you join real life trading that you will make money, but I'm definitely going to guarantee that you are currently losing money by not being in the morning room with us because Brad Reed's trade entry here, stop, stop down here and bang to R. Now there's, there is, there is, there is multiple people, multiple traders, multiple real life traders out here just making absolute bank. Um, Sarah Russell made one R on AMD and she also made two R on CIEN. Let's just take a look at CIEN. Now guys, AMD glorious, glorious trade. If you did miss this breakout, of the pre-market highs, you could have caught this retest and then taken the trade higher. So guys, this is everything that we teach you in the morning room. So if you're not in there, you guys got to join up. There is, there is an absolute amazing opportunities out there that we are finding every single day. So um, let's take a look at CIEN. Now, CIEN just absolutely crushing earnings. If you take a look at the three minute, we had this beautiful morning star reversal pattern. Now, if you didn't spot that, okay, and you're looking at the five minute, we had a perfect, perfect tweezer bottom pattern right here. So this was not the point to go bearish or try and fade this gap. Um, this was definitely a bullish, bullish gap. If you take a look on the daily, uh, we had a beautiful gap and go. Um, one of the strategies that we do teach here at Real Life Trading. Glorious little retest um, of these highs back here and then slowly went higher. That's CIEN. Now, Apple, we spoke about this just a couple of days ago that this is probably where we will start to move higher. And I did bring out the Fibonacci tool saying that no one could have guessed that we were going to bounce off this 618 level. Um, guys, just absolute gold. You have to, you, you guys have to be here. And I've got some great news at the end of this video, but Apple definitely moving higher. We did have a retest gap, white candle gapping up. So most likely do expect this to retrace. Um, filling that gap and then slowly grind higher. Talking about amazing opportunities, MU pulling right back. Take a look at the weekly here, guys. We've got the 200 simple moving average closing in. Probably won't get there. As you can see, we have a nice bullish high wave candle on the weekly and it is a, a one white soldier pattern. So, 
back down to the daily guys check this out we have got a nice little double bottom dub, double bottom pattern forming here so right here i would not be bearish um, I would be looking at accumulating some sort of shares or, or position size down here, maybe looking at some long-term calls down here. Back to the weekly, we are at previous, um, the previous all-time highs that we had back in 2015. So beautiful, beautiful buying location on MU. Here's Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. Now, Jeremy's been talking in the afternoon, afternoon room that this is most likely going to be the bottom on Tesla. If you just take a look at the daily chart with this beautiful, beautiful, almost a perfect Marabozu candle, um, just looking absolutely glorious. If you take a look at the weekly chart, actually we'll take a look at the monthly chart. This was right at the 100 simple moving average on the monthly. So if you're not in Tesla bullish, now is the time to probably look at starting to accumulate some sort of position on Tesla. Looking really, really, really good. Um, we, did have, we did have a nice little gap and go yesterday, which did play out nicely and was played in the, in the morning room. So a lot of people making money on Tesla, um, bullish today. So most likely from here, I do think that if, if Tesla is gonna go higher, we probably will come down a little bit and then trade higher. Um, so you definitely keep your eyes peeled on Tesla. Here's Amazon. Uh, Amazon on the weekly, just forming an absolute beautiful hammer of Thor right now. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. Um, on the daily, on the daily, uh, just doing some glorious moves. I spoke about this on this day here, saying that most likely we're gonna start bouncing here. So. If you guys are in Amazon, well done, well done. Just be long on Amazon. I would not be getting short right now. Markets are looking like they're bouncing. We probably will get a little bit more of Chop City, but at the same time, we are going to be moving higher. Um, I wanna take a quick look at the crude oil sector. Now, if you caught this short that I spoke about uh, last week, well done. Um, now, funnily enough, I did say that most likely we'd probably come back down to $50. I th only just recently drew the Fibonacci on, on this, on the, um, on crude and we came straight down to the 618. So right here, guys, I'm, I'm actually, I'm looking for a long and there is plenty of opportunities out here to go long. So if you do play crude, the crude oil futures now is definitely a time to be looking at some long some long options. If you are if you are in shares, here's a great here's a great leveraged um, oil stock ticker symbol oil U. Just coming all the way back down to sixteen dollars. If we if we have a look on the weekly chart, like we are at a beautiful buy low sell high location. And guys, just look at the look at this. If I just zoom in, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we can make this as large as you want, but that there, right here, that is one beautiful hammer off that support level. So guys, all your, all your oil stocks, you know, BP, oil U, like a lot of the oil companies definitely now would be looking at getting into a long position or maybe looking at selling some put options, selling some premium down here. There's definitely some really great opportunities. Oil U on the daily looking absolutely glorious for a long position. Uh, okay. So, and let's take a look at the Aussie markets. So the Aussie markets, all odds, spoke about this a couple of days ago, saying that most likely we're going to bounce off the 50 and I'm looking at getting into some long positions from here. Um, definitely looking to stay long, guys. Uh, we did get a rate cut, which is going to help the markets a little bit. Um, however, it's not going to help our dollar, but that's okay. Actually, speaking of the dollar, speaking of the Aussie dollar, let's let's take a look at that right now. So it was probably last week or maybe two weeks ago in my last, in one of my stock reviews, I said, look for a short as soon as we get to about $70, uh, 70 cents. Um, right now we are forming a nice little cute little inside pennant pattern right here. So 
I am still looking at a short here. Uh, we did come back and retest this um, this support re support resistance level. So um, keep your eyes for a short here on the AUD USD if you're a forex trader. It's looking really, really, really nice. Uh, and let's talk about gold now. So gold came straight up to this 1343.62 resistance level that I was speaking about last week as well. So if you did get to exit your position on your long gold position, or if you even got into a short position up here, then well done. Um, from here, go, from here, guys, gold, I'm not going to be super bullish because as you can see, this is a very solid, solid resistance level. And, um, it's not looking overly bullish. I know we, we have had a very bullish run the last, you know, five or six days. Uh, so from here, if we just take a look at the, the, uh, DXY, which is the dollar index, we're still in this wedge pattern right here, as you can see. So we never broke the lows. Okay. Um, and this is, the, this is where we hit the highs in gold. So I'm not going to actually be bearish on, I'm not going to be bearish on the U S dollar or bullish on, on gold, unless we can actually break this pattern and then look to, you know, slowly come down, retest and then roll down from here. Most likely we will chop around a bit and then go back up and you'll most likely see gold, come back down from these levels. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my good friend, Maddie Lanyon. Uh, mate, you did an absolute amazing job getting into JNUG bullish down here. Well done. Hope you're locking in some profits there, mate. Um, absolutely glorious, glorious time to buy. This is just what we teach at Real Life Trading, guys. So if, you, if you're not in Real Life Trading, you guys got it. You guys got to get there because you are missing out on some amazing, amazing opportunities. Quickly, quickly look at a couple more stocks from the Aussie markets. Um, CBA uh, just for, coming up to the highs again. From here, most likely, um, I do expect. Yeah, we're right there at eighty. So if we do come higher, most likely we're going to come up to about three, the the two three eight two, which is the eighty two price level. That's where I would look to probably, if you haven't sold any premium on your long term positions on your on your shares, if you have, if you haven't sold any cover calls up here, uh, I'd probably be looking to sell some premium, definitely at eighty two. So. Um, CBA looking really, really bullish at the moment because of the rate cut that we've had. So that is going to stimulate a lot of spending coming in. Here's BHP. Uh, just turn on the long-term moving averages. We've been speaking about this for a few or well, a couple of months now, guys. So um, if you did get in long here, uh, like a couple of people have, this beautiful gap and go that we had today this could run. Okay. It is only a very small, it is only a very small candle that we did have today being Friday in Australia. Um, but it was a, it definitely was a gap and go, and this is a double bottom. So guys, BHP looking really long right now. APT, uh, still waiting for my entry to come back in at 2248. Um, but definitely keep your eyes on this to go higher. Yeah, looking absolutely glorious. Nice, nice candles. Um, here's ALU. If you here's ALU. Altium. Right now, okay. So this is looking really good. We've had the hundred come in. I sp I've been speaking about this pretty much since back here. That most likely we're going to come back down to the one hundred simple moving average and chop around. You know, break these lows. Um, we are here now and most likely we will chop around for a little bit, um, but definitely be long on Altium if you guys are looking at buying some shares. Great time to be getting in straight off the 100 simple moving average. And last but not least, I'm going to have a look at APT. APT. Oh no, we've already looked at APT. It's looking already good. So pretty much guys, I'm super bullish on the markets at the moment. It's bullish to neutral, but um, we've had a really great bounce with the SPY and the overall markets. Um, also, 
if you haven't joined already, come over to the, our Facebook, uh, our Facebook page, Real Life Trading Australia. Just type up in here in Real Life Trading Australia. Click join. Uh, we'd love to have you there. Just so that you guys don't, if you if you miss all the videos that come up on YouTube, I post them up on here on Facebook. So you'll you'll never you'll never miss a beat. And if you're not part of Real Life Trading yet, lock this in your diary, guys. July twenty second to July twenty sixth. We have got a free week in the morning room and the swing trading room. Come check it out. I'll leave the links below in the, in the description and be sure to sign up, just register and then join us in the trading rooms together and help us enrich lives. And we will just make money together as an, as an absolute unity. Let's do it, guys. Can't wait to see you guys next week with another real-life stock review. And remember, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.